Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So one day one of my friend asked me what backend technology you use and I said I use pocket base and he was like what really pocket base what is this so I said like this is just one single binary file it gives you 90% of your backend already done you get like real time database authentication file storage and admin dashboard. So basically it means like you don't have to write your own authentication logic or CRUD logic. It gives you API and he's like, yeah, but you know what's wrong with Superbase? Superbase use PostgreSQL and it automatically scales like you can just. And I was like, yeah, but you know, like, I don't want to, you know, depend on Superbase. And he was like, yeah, but you know, you can uh, self-host it. I was like, yeah, but you know, like it's, it is like I need to use Docker and you know, it's not simple. Okay. It's so complicated. And I'm like, I don't want to waste so much resources and all like pocket base just do my thing so cleanly it's just one single file it is really easy to install and he's like yeah but you know uh you know like it's not scalable and i was like yeah but i don't need scalability he's like oh why like because i just write projects for b2b okay and only 26 employees are going to use my project uh no one else okay and you are also not doing anything where you're getting lots of users okay all your applications are just you know some api wrappers uh like uh, ai services wrappers and you just try to rip off some vcs okay so you just create pocs and demo and for that there is no point of using like you know like super base okay so 90 percent of the time we engineers do not really work on projects which you know like really are so uh you know like for real world basically okay and all so that's the truth now other than that you know like uh, some people say superbase is cool because you know it just replaces firebase and firebase is like no sql database and you know like it is corporate on like big corporation owned like google so they like like superbase because superbase also give you like self host option but bro, the self-post option is so hard that you might end up on their pricing page, okay? So, but, you know, like this, whole, let's just leave this mess, okay? Let's just focus on our cute little uh, pocket base, okay? See this one, just see this file. This is miracle, okay? This is so pure. This is like, as an engineer, you will fall in love with this thing. And you can actually use it in 90% of your project. It's just one single file and this file contains a database inside okay already it uses sqlite okay so sqlite comes inside pocket pocket base nothing else you have to do it comes with a swell dashboard so let me just run it like pocket base okay oh pocket base serve so this is you know help okay so serve migrate super user update whatever so now let's just open this url uh Okay, it's already open. See, PocketBase is smart. Now, let's just create a super user account and uh, sigma underscore one two three one two three sigma underscore one two three one two three, and see this dashboard. It's so lightweight, written in Swell. Swell is so better. Why people use React? I just hate React. So here, see this. You can go. You already get like multi-factor authentication. You get like OAuth. See, this is what I love. PocketBase gives you everything you need automatically okay you don't have to write code for verification emails and you know password reset and you don't have to worry about all the junk you know token management everything is already done you already get like user stable and if you go to settings you have like a file storage so if you create a collection so it's basically a database too so you can create like you know a collection like this so you can even use like files you can have like plain text like a name uh, any collection basically of anything so you can have this is so rich this is so better okay so one thing is that uh if you click on files so you can no no yes no cancel yes okay so here you can even set up like s3 storage or any s3 supporting storage okay even your local file system will work for you so this is like 90 percent email already done you can just go to resend.com and just get account like free account gives you a lot of emails okay so okay so after that you just need to set up your resend which is super simple and suddenly you start getting those emails uh, like all those emails like verification email and stuff like that okay so let me just quickly show you a quick example okay let's go to ai studio uh yep we are going to do white ring eyes because 
yeah what else like a uh, lot <laughs> so some people don't like ai and this is just uh understandable for me uh but you know i truly believe like if somebody do some if somebody mess my html okay i don't want to use my mental energy either i don't use technology but if i use it i'm not going to waste my mental energy for thing i i i want to save my mental energy for important things okay so i uh, write a nice flask application using pocket base just uh, and uh, tailwind cdn uh, you create a login and register don't use email verification for now just a demo minimal simple single app.py file okay give one file at a time okay so now we are going to use uv uh, uv in it uh, to just initialize our project so this is basically a new way so we are in 2025 guys okay it's written in rust and it is so fast in return see this how fast this is you just have to write like this and see pocket base by the way i already had cache so this is why you know it is fast but it is still very fast okay faster than you know pip okay so now we are getting the code so i'm going to show you like how easy it is to set up like basic user authentication login and you know like even doing basically pocket base gives you this whole api so if you create some table some database it's so simple to you know use pocket base and manage all those things so especially with the help of ai like i have i have done a lot of projects of all right so i have those experiences like i understand like how beneficial this thing is and some people who say like uh, pocket base is not good because it's not production ready or something i have read like some reddit uh opinions where people have told me that you know they are managing real world applications with pocket base with more than one lakh users you know so it depends uh, if you're a good engineer you know like uh, like what to do so let's just you know create an account like lol lol one two three lol one two three oh so a stronger password books um so complicated password it will do all the encryption of this password and see my login is also ready so um uh, so why it's not recommending okay wow so we are logged in okay there is some issue but that's not pocket base issue this is just like some other issue so uh if you if i refresh see i i get my user and i can just you know make it verified automatically instead of email so i can add like avatar so there are so many things which i can do and i just love pocket base it's so, like i just want to talk about it and i just want to say that 90 percent of we engineers are never going to work on an actual product with like a lot of scaling okay you are writing a dumb college project for, just to show some, your professor okay so stop using firebase and stop reading like so many documentation like if you can write a project without depending on such huge scale like these things are not for you okay these are like some i don't know <laughs> I, if you're a good engineer you can write for like really good application by using like some minimal and good technology and this is where even ai won't you know help you okay even ai won't recommend you pocket base so this is where you need your intelligence okay so that's my video i love pocket base be a good engineer and just appreciate this one single binary like it can do so much it can literally and how easy it is to back up pocket base okay like if you have your entire backend you can just make like backup dots it that's it make a cron job of it and you know that's it's such a easy life okay like one single binary is replacing entire firebase and superbase for so many people so thanks for watching it was written in go go by the way okay